Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Growth Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all of you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Come on in. So I usually, I use my, my decks that I normally use, but I started um, with Bitty Tarot. They have a new deck um, that they sent to me. Uh, and I started pulling, and you know I don't normally start like this, but... This kind of, this message here, I was like, let me go ahead and get this out. So you got the Hermit, the Empress, Three of Swords. I feel like right now, in the in the present moment, you are the Empress. Because you keep coming up in your readings as the Empress. Um, very healed, very nurturing. Love, lo you love, I want to say you love love, but at the same time, you carry love. Like, you embody strength. You embody nurturing. You embody that. Um, there is someone that you may have given a chance to recently but this person is manipulating a situation especially with the three of swords being here and the seven of swords i got the knight of swords and the lovers it's like they're moving towards the situation with you deceitfully um they're hiding the fact that they're in a relationship right now um they're being very reckless in the way that they're handling it I, this is after you're healed. So this is this is some new player ass energy that's come into your circle. Um, they're gonna move very slow towards this because they're in a relationship with someone else. Okay. Um, and if you've been fighting and bickering with this person and you're not understanding why when you're asking them a simple question, it's hard for them to, it's because they're lying. It's because they're hiding a situation. They're hiding it. They're trying their best to. Intuitively, you feel it. And you may not know what to do. You may not know if you should invest in this. If you should move forward or you should just let it go. Um, it, it seems... I really feel like you're gonna eventually let this go. This is a um, you're gonna con you're fighting for a position that you didn't know was already filled. Like you, your swords are up right now because you're just kind of trying to figure out, okay, what the hell is coming towards me? What the hell is going on? But really, this person is manipulating a situation with you, um, and they're really. Why? Why is this? Why did they come through? Why are they here? Why is this person here? Because with this Five of Swords, it's like they are trying to prove a point to you, but at the same time, they're trying to prove a point or trying to prove why they're moving slow and whatever lie they told. But it's becoming an argument because it doesn't make any sense. Like shit is not adding up. It's just not. Um, they may hide. This is kind of this. It's like this person is hiding in their work. Um, they may. They want to walk away. I mean, that's coming through. They want to leave this situation. This may be their two of swords up in the air and they don't know what to do. But right now, they're being shady with this three of swords. Like right now, they have you both on the hook. So it's you and someone else that's on the hook at this moment. Okay? Until they make a decision of who they want to build with. You should never have to compete. You're the fucking empress. Like there's no, you don't share shit. So there's no reason for you to be competing. Um intuitively they know that you're the best choice and it's like they're going to walk away from whoever this is but judgment is here you may be pulled away uh spirit may move, remove you from the situation where it's like you either got too much going on for yourself and you're going to be more um involved in that but <clears throat> this person is going to lose you with this five of cups they're going to lose you <clears throat> Excuse me. You're you're gonna go towards your victories here. You're gonna go towards your opportunity, your potential. What is what is building for you is what you're gonna go towards. Not this person anymore. Damn, and you know what's crazy? This is a high level commitment. This is you wasn't 
you wasn't um going crazy. You wasn't like putting your heart out there to somebody that didn't love you back. Like this is a high level commitment. Two of cups, the hierophant. This is supposed to do something else, but then you got this three of cups right next to it. This person wasn't ready to let go of those old play ass ways and you know, people are entertaining them, people are, you know. You bring them other attention. That's what that feels like. Like being able to say that they're with you makes other people want to be with them, you know, and they just weren't disciplined enough to kind of just let that shit go and be committed in this and, and they just weren't ready. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe one of you, this this particular other person may have reached out to you, and that's how you found out. Um, Cause it's a it's this is not even listen. This person is not even I can't even say it's a karmic. It's like this person has two people that seem to have a good head on their shoulders, and they got both of y'all committed in the situation. Like he's got two queens here. Um, you may communicate with one another. This does not feel like some chick calling you. I'm gonna tell, I'm telling you, I'm fucking your man. This ain't that. This is like y'all will be trading stories. This is a woman to woman conversation y'all have because he's promising both of y'all the same shit. He's about to lose out on both of y'all because the moment the two of you talk, it's a wrap. Two queens on the opposite spectrum, but y'all two queens nonetheless. Yeah, this will come to an end once you, I don't know, it's some type, something with communication here. But that's why I said it's not going to be a negative, it's, it's, it's a negative experience, period. But it's not going to be a negative conversation. This is someone that's going to, they have respect for themselves. You have respect for yourself. This is going to be that type of conversation. This will put an ending to this all the way, like both sides, the world, the wheel of fortune. It's a wrap. This this person lost out. I don't. I had to pull this story because this one looked a little. I was like, what is going on? Let me turn this camera on because this right here, this person not making a choice of who they wanted is it. They've lost out on everybody. Uh, this person was very selfish and manipulative. Very selfish. Wanted their cake and eat it too. They wanted the both of you, but they can't have the both of you. Both of you will leave. Both of two endings, two queens and two endings. Once y'all communicate, both of y'all are walking away. Um, people are still going to approach you. Like you're still very desirable. People still want you. People still watching you. Um, you have a lot of people coming towards you, wanting love with you. So you know, shit. It's not like it's going to stop love for you. Love is always around. They feel like <laughs> once you move on, this person is going to try to, Lord, they may try to wait for you or hold out for you because they have a lot of, like, you guys have had, I don't know how you met or what experiences, but you've had experiences with this person. It wasn't just sexual. It was like y'all actually had things happen with the two of you so this person looked at you damn they they just they just lost out <laughs> the six of cups is here whenever i see the six of cups it's not just it's not just having sex it's not just a, a physical connection like you really care about this person um but they this person was manipulative they were too manipulative for this like two all they had to do was tell you the truth you tell me you with somebody, I'm going to keep it moving till you're not. I don't love them the way that I love you. I miss talking to you. If this has already happened, this is what was going on. You will always be the one for me. Don't turn your back on me. It's like this person doesn't want you to turn. Don't turn your back on me now. Let me explain to you what was going on, though. You already had that conversation with someone else, or you will. Um, if this is not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Because y'all be killing me. Like, don't, if, if, if this ain't you, you know, it's other videos, okay? Um, whoever this is, they'll never forget you. Damn. 
and they wish they knew what you were thinking, okay? Um, they're pretending like they're cool and everything is fine, but they care for you a whole lot. It's just, ooh, not will you marry me. This person's like, you left me in the cold. Like, this, this person here feels like you wasn't supposed to leave. You was just supposed to deal with all of this shit. The fact that they're in a full-blown relationship with somebody else. You were supposed to stay and you were supposed to deal with it. And I don't, I don't, they're shocked that you left. They are really shocked. You may have been engaged to this person. It's like, it's really like a, a high level commitment. I said that earlier, it, it was here. But finding out that they were literally doing the same thing with someone else, you can't even be mad at the someone else. This someone else had no idea about you either, you know? So they lost out on two people. It's crazy. Let me get off of this. What does the collective need to know moving forward? What does the collective need to know moving forward? What does the collective need to know? You're going through a transformation right now. And the partnerships and alliances that are coming towards you are being sent to you to, from the universe. So you're getting the right people now, okay? So the new people that are coming around you are the right people that need to be around you. Um, these people from, it could have been the past, could have been the recent past. Um, they kind of just, they didn't even hold enough weight to stay around that long because that's how healed you are. So the moment you notice it, you cut it off, okay? So that's why that transformation is there because transformation is essentially death. It's an ending, okay? Um, but the partnerships and alliances that you're building now are the ones that are going to be with you in the future. So third eye being here, your third eye is on point. When you feel it and you 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 don't question your, your judgment anymore, you don't doubt your intuition anymore, you go for it because you know intuitively those signs were sent to you for a reason. There was a reason this person came around, um, and it's okay. Everybody has free will. You are going to let your guard down for some people sometimes because there's something that resonates with you that they did, you know, something that they said, or, you know, you just, you want to have some fun, you want to do, but it's, the lesson here for you is that you don't sit in it very long. You don't dwell in it. You don't try to make something work that just doesn't fucking work. You leave. You know, because you have self-love, self-preservation, you move on quickly. You move on very quickly nowadays. It causes a lot of mental conflict in others. They have they have no choice but to look at themselves when you do that. Because when you realize I'm, you are not going to treat me like shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck you. You figure it out. It causes an issue in these people. Like, what do you mean? You, you're not going to sit here and deal with my shit? Like, these people are... No. You've got to... It's... it's you ignite a lot of passion in people where I think they would rather lie and say that they don't have anyone rather than lose out on the opportunity with you because they know if they say that they are, you're not going to go towards it. You're just like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm good. You know, it's, it's manipulation, you know what I mean? And it's just to get towards you. It's like you're very desirable. People desire you a lot. But when you leave, shit, you cause mental breakdown. You cause mental breakdowns, honey. Um, but it's really your crown chakra is open. Like you're walking in your destiny. It's so many, it's so many things that you're doing that are just faded. It's like it's faded for you to have a higher level of thinking. It's faded for you to do these things. It's faded for you to start your own ventures and and be able to be strong enough to walk away from people. It's like. You're one of God's strongest soldiers. Just fade it. You know? People just have to deal. That's why I said you move on very quickly. Your spiritual strength is on point. You're very balanced. If shit's not balanced for you, you leave. You already know. You leave. Your intuition is on fire. Okay? So, you were right about this situation. You just couldn't. This person wouldn't be truthful anyway. So you was never going to get this straight the story with this person. They were going to lie because remember, they find you very desirable. So they were already lying <laughs> when it came to the situation. You know, you weren't going to get a lot of truth out of this person. They're not going to forget you though. They, they will never forget you. You created, um, you taught them 
Jesus, you're teaching everybody how to love these days. But you taught them how to have a harmonious relationship with someone. Um, it's a lesson they won't forget. Right now, you're not available. They feel like they hid who they really were from you, but they can't stop thinking about you. And they feel like the timing was just not right. No, the timing wasn't right because you were in a relationship. They wish they could take their words back. Just being near you is, in, is intoxicating. And they still love you. So that's so why I said this person desires you a lot. And that desire kind of took over, which allowed them to feel as though they could manipulate you in this situation just to have you. Um, but people got to stop just looking at you on the surface level and... Then once they get past the surface level and they get to know you, it's like, oh my God, this person's really cool. I, can't, I really can't walk away now, you know? This person bit off way more than they could chew and they got left behind by you. We both know I'm not the one for you. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I hope that you could forgive me one day. So this person, at the bottom of the deck, I wish I had treated you better. So they, they wish they treated you better. They hope that one day you could forgive them, but... I feel like this is a situation where you just like, you know, no hard feelings, but I'm out. There's no, it's like, I can't, I can't sit in this with you. You know, I'm good. You're not who I thought you were, and it's okay. But you can't have me anymore, okay? All right, that was a quick message. I just wanted to get that out to whoever needed to hear it. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.